Just so you know, people who pretend to be perfect, or even business that pretend to be perfect, drive me nuts. This is going to be a little bit long, so enjoy the ride. So this, the, there's a little bit of a story to this one. So when I was 16, I worked at a grocery store. I know, back in the dark ages, right? But I worked at the grocery store, one of my very first jobs. My boss was a perfectionist, drove me nuts. Um, he put me in charge of produce. Um, and so he would nitpick every little thing I did. So if an apple wasn't turned the right way to display the best side, he would... I don't want to say criticize, but he would critique it. And, and it went on like, like this for probably a year before I found another job and, and moved on. Now, I get the whole concept. You're supposed to put your best foot forward when presenting yourself or something you're trying to sell. However, his interactions taught me the opposite. Uh, and this is why you see what I do videos. They're not perfect. If I display products, they're not perfect. Why is that? Because I want to show you that I'm real, that I'm human, that I make mistakes. And so now I'm going to show you a mistake. So yesterday I had a client drop off a computer. He'd been here before, but it had been a couple years. So when I looked at his file, I seen I had his address on file and everything looked fine. And that's his computer, by the way. You'll understand why here in a second. He had brought it to me because it just won't turn on. The fans will turn on, no screen, no output, no post, nothing. So after tinkering with it for an hour, I pretty much decided it was dead. But I remembered a couple of weeks ago, he came in and dropped off some recycling. One of those was an older Toshiba laptop. Let's see. So I pulled the hard drive, did a data backup, took his old hard drive and put it into this other Toshiba laptop and poof, it booted. It gave me the login screen. You know, I had to make some tweaks after I got logged in. But it gave me the login screen, and it worked. So if you're with me so far, here's where the mistake was. So it's time to call the client. I look at the file. I don't have his phone number. I looked at his file when he was here and didn't notice that the phone number was not there. I don't even have his email address either. All right. So, I, I, you know, this is one of those rare occasions where I have to go snooping. So I logged into his computer. Um, kind of spot check through some files, see if I can find a phone number or an email address, nothing. The only thing I found was reference to a Facebook account. I'm guessing it's his son. Um, so I messaged his son and say, hey, if you know Mr. Dennis, um, you know, get a hold of him and let him know that he needs to call me regarding his computer. So that interaction went pretty much as well as expected, and, and rightly so. You know, why would you have a stranger contact you say, hey, I have your dad's computer. Give me, have him give me a call. Here's your name and number. And this person has never interacted with me and apparently has never heard of me. I'm not surprised with that either. I've been here for eight years, and I've still got people come in for live in this small town and say, I've never knew you were here. So the moral of the story is, you're not perfect. Don't pretend to be perfect. It drives me nuts. And for the businesses out there who appear to be perfect to everyone on the outside world, stop. You hire a bunch of humans who are all imperfect. So occasionally, you know, maybe put your displays, display some mistakes, you know, show that you have some compassion and, you know, you care about the people who work for you, work with you. I'm just saying, stop being perfectionist. Leave us a comment. Follow, share with all your friends, and smash that like button. Improving that mistakes, displaying mistakes works. That there is an advertisement for a teacher's position here locally. Note it says it's an employer-provided STD. Yeah, I would still work there.